Hi, my name is Steven Simon and welcome back to yet another new video. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the top 7 sensors that you should know if you're working on any of the Arduino project. Coming up. Alright, let's get into the video. So this video is going to be very short and quite descriptive. Also stay tuned at the end as I'm going to tell you the best platform or one of the best platform where you can get uh, many types of IoT projects for free and you can also contribute to the same. So let's get tied to the first sensor I have written on, on this uh, sheet. Okay, so The first sensor that we have is the ultrasonic sensor. Now this is a sensor that you can use to actually find the distance between the obstacle. You use an Arduino, you use an Arduino connected with the jumper wires with the ultrasonic sensor and it can actually detect how far any object it is from uh, the sensor. Say suppose for an example for this project would be if you place this sensor in a table and that table has a study lamp, the moment you walk towards the table, the ultrasonic sensor will, de will detect the distance and will switch on the study lamp. That is one of the example. Now the second sensor would be your DHT11 or 22 temperature and humidity sensor. Now this sensor is used to get the uh, external humidity and temperature of the environment. You can use it to uh, do some triggers as if like if there's uh, quite humidity and uh, high temperature outside you would like to switch on the air conditioner or you would like to switch on the fan. One of the examples it would be. The third sensor is would be your uh, smoke sensor. You also call it MQ2 gas sensor. Now you can use this sensor to create a fire alarm based system whenever there is any gas leakage. Now this sensor can detect many types of gases. Some to name are your LPG, 1-butane, propane, methane, alcohol, hydrogen and of course your smoke. So the example that I gave is the fire detection or for this would be your one of the best uh, project that you would like to make. I'm going a little fast because uh, they are just the names and just a, a small description about the sensors. The fifth one is your infrared sensor. Now again this infrared sensor actually detects the amount of light. Also this is, uh, can again be used for the fire alarms as uh, it can detect the flames. How does it do? Now this works not on the smoke but it works on the amount of light intensity and it can take the range of light from 760 nanometer to 1100 nanometer of wavelength often these are the wavelength of a flame so if there's any flame in the room uh, this sensor can detect and give you an alarm the sixth one is your was it a sixth one i believe this was the fifth one right <laughs> so the fifth one is the soil moisture sensor now this is a sensor that will actually tell you the uh, moisture in your soil now what the project that you can make with this sensor is if the moisture goes down in your flower pot you can switch on the water supply okay the seventh the sixth one now <laughs> the sixth one is your barometric pressure sensor now this is a very cool sensor it actually tells you the external pressure of the environment also it can detect the temperature and humidity also you can use it in your robotics to find the actual height from the ground and you can make some cool robotic projects using this sensor. The last one is quite interesting and it is the humidity and rain detection sensor. Now this is a sensor that can actually detect the rainwater. So you, what you can do is when it rains you can actually trigger like okay when it's raining uh, you can put shade on your car or anything like that. So those were the sensors, just to give a recap, the first one is ultrasonic, second DHT11, smoke sensor, infrared sensor, soil moisture sensor, barometric pressure sensor, humidity and rain detection sensor. Now, the as we reach at the end of the video, as I told in the beginning, a platform that would help you to develop or find projects based on these sensors and many IoT one. So I have been telling this in my other videos also, um, the platform is called Hackster.io. I'll give the link in the description. This is a community that is for IoT and makers or more specifically a makers community. We will find not just Arduino or sensor projects but many many IoT based projects may be, may be on Raspberry Pi, may be on Onion, may be on Particle, may be on uh, ESP86. 
you'll find almost all type of projects on hackster.io so i would suggest you to go back to go on the, to go so i would suggest you to go to that website and uh, sign it up it's totally free of cost and get inspired from the projects that exist and start making the projects right after you and watching this video that was all from my side thank you so much for watching i upload videos on every monday wednesday and friday don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel thank you so much see you in the next video